You found Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Today's video is going to be an update to my previous video on how to carve your spiral sliced ham. On that previous video, I felt like I left some room for improvement. This time I'm going to be using multiple camera angles and I've got some different ways, as you can see, to illustrate what we're trying to achieve. If you need to learn how to carve that spiral sliced ham, then you're at the right place. <laughs> Okay, carving your spiral slice ham before you serve it to your guest is a no-brainer. It just makes for a more enjoyable experience and it shows your guests what a great host or hostess you are. And it's really very quick and it's very easy. Now, if you look at this cut end of your ham, you can see that the muscles are naturally grouped into three major groups. While my ham is still vacuum sealed, I've drawn on it with my marker those natural division lines so you can get an idea where they are. I've numbered them and I think this is the best order that we should carve them off. It doesn't have to be. Keep in mind that a hog has a left side and a right side and your ham may be the mirror image of this one. It may look a little more like this. But no matter which side your ham comes from, you'll still have the same three major muscle groups that you need to identify and remove. So what I'm showing you is a guide. If you don't cut it exactly as I do, it's not the end of the world. After all, you're trying to get the ham off of the bone, onto the plate, and ready to serve. So if your cuts are a little different than mine, then that's okay. Now I'm gonna make the cuts in the numbered order. What's left will be the bone with some ham on it that's unsliced that we're gonna need to deal with. You wanna start by looking at the top of your ham and you see how far this spiral extends back and then we're gonna cut straight down and go right down here and right across here to take off this major muscle group here. Now let's remove number two the same way. You just gotta cut it off right here. And the third group's a little bit different in that you have to trim around this bone right here in a semicircle. And then what you'll have is the bone with that unsliced ham on it that you'll have to remove and you can take it off in either chunks or slices and you can follow that natural muscle division if you want to to help get it off, it really doesn't matter. I always save the bone for cooking beans. So I like to leave a generous amount of ham on it and once I get it off, it goes in a Ziploc bag, I label it, and it goes in the freezer. And now all you need to do is warm it up, apply your glaze, and it's ready to serve. Now in my previous video, I showed you how to improve that glaze, and this is a link to that video right up here. And it's set up in chapters so that you can quickly find that glaze recipe and the instructions. Okay, now this is the part where you need to hit that like button, Consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.